Hello boys and girls, it's Georgi, and yet it's another Sunday, another cocktail on Just Shake or Steer channel. So welcome! Today we're doing a cocktail called The Stick. It's created in 2006 by Simon Deford, and as I promised last week, I said I'm gonna bring some cocktails with elderflower. Saying cocktails, that mean probably a few more will follow. But since we've been on the Calvados vibe, I found a cocktail which have Calvados again. So, if you're new to the channel and you want to learn more cocktails and try different things at home or maybe in the bar you're working, make sure you stick around, make sure you click the subscribe button, the like button, leave a comment, introduce yourself and let's go and make the stick. So before I start with the cocktail, just to mention quick, don't forget my merch still available, still have 25% off and of course you can find it as far I remember uh, here, I think it's here. I always have trouble to point to the right direction of the links coming on the screen, but I'm pretty sure there's a little button on the screen popping out, you can click and check the merch. Also, I'll leave a link in the description and, of course, the code which you need to use to get 25% off. Another news, finally, after two years doing this channel, yeah, nearly two years, if not a little bit more, actually, uh, I finally decide to jump and do the Patreon page for real. I did once before, but I wasn't kind of a feeling it. However, now it's fact, so I'll leave this link in the description as well. If you want to support the channel directly, if you want to have a questions and answers with me if you want to look some behind the scenes stuff and of course need to be a part of the community and have a more direct contact with me make sure you became a patreon so i have three tires at the moment i may introduce another one or i may just upgrade them in time when i see what it's more on demand for the moment it's only three Go and check it out, the link is in the description. But, since we are a cocktail channel, I will remind you about these things probably every time from now on. However, for now, let's stop and let's see the ingredients for today's recipe and what we need to make the stick. Okay, boys and girls, first we're gonna start with the Calvados. Of course, this cocktail, as I mentioned, it's all about the elderflower, but first ingredients in our cocktail it's the calvados i'm using avalan calvados which it's not aged calvados and this is perfect when you want to experience a wonderful cocktail and you don't have too much dryness to it however if you have a more aged calvados and dry you can still use it next you need a pisco yes so we have apple brandy and we have the grape goodiness here so apple and grapes works fantastic together and on top of everything the elderflower is going to bring absolutely burst of sweetness and wonderful flowery and fruity taste but to kind of a mellow everything down and make it a little bit more interesting we're going to use a white wine just to bring some acidity and elevate this elderflower flavor so that's all your ingredients and yeah let's make the stick okay the stick it's originally created by simon defords in 2006 as i mentioned you can find it on the defords guide it's not a secret but it's a wonderful cocktail and i found the ingredients and the pairing absolutely amazing the cocktail is recommended to be stirred however you can also shake it if you want because it will benefit from more airness and it's gonna dilute more the cocktail which is gonna make it more lighter and more approachable for people who doesn't like particularly boozy stuff however you know me i like a boozy drink so i'm gonna stick to the original recommendations and i'm gonna steer the cocktail first of all we're gonna start with our calvados and this is only 22 and a half mil or a three quarter of ounce and next we move to our grape goodiness pisco the wonderful pisco so 22 and a half or three quarter of an ounce absolutely the same as the calvados and since we said it's a more elderflower related cocktail of course the elderflower liqueur is going to be a little bit more we're going to bring it to 
one ounce or 30 mil, okay? Beautiful. I'm gonna need one of these little trays here to keep everything nice and tidy. Clean bar, happy bar, as I always say. Finally, a white wine. Now, when it comes to a white wine, I don't know, you can use any probably Sauvignon or a Chardonnay. I'm using Chablet at the moment, which it's kind of a close to Chardonnay. It has nice acidity, it's a little bit fruity, have a perfect flavor and it works fantastic for a cocktails. However, use the white wine, which you prefer. Okay, we need some ice. Use your lovely clean hands. You're doing cocktails at home, so don't get picky. But if you work in a bar, don't ever use your hands, okay? Promise. Right, back to the ice. So, fill up your glass with ice, the mixing glass. You want to stop the diluting the cocktail pretty much straight away, but of course you want to chill it down. Give it a good stir. And again, don't forget all links for today announcements about the merch, which is still with 25% off. And of course the new Patreon page, everything down in the description. I like to see some of you there if you want to have more close contact with me and support the channel independently. It will be nice to see you in the Patreon, okay? Right, I think I'm done. The glass is steamed already on the side. I'll give it a little try. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Absolutely delicious. There we go. Personal preference here. If you want to chill your glass and keep it in the freezer, of course, nobody's gonna stop you. It's gonna keep the cocktail colder for longer. But if you don't, again, nothing wrong with that. Grab a large cube of ice if you have the ability to make it at home with the molds or anything. If not, just fill this, this glass with ice, yeah? Don't put just a few pieces. And just strain your cocktail. Simple as that. Very easy, very fast, nice looking, almost white. Let's say golden color, but yeah, we can call it like a white cocktail. And final touch, again, Simon Deforts re recommend to be served with a lemon zest, but I do prefer to have a lemon wheel. I like a little bit more of this zestiness to match with the acidity of the wine and bring down a little bit of sweetness of the, of the flower. This is a wonderful cocktail by Simon Deforts, created in 2006, and I think it's a brilliant concoction, okay? So, cheers. Oh, there's so much going on here. Apple and grape straight away through, but the whole flavor, it's lovely balance with the elderflower liqueur. It's all around this wonderful fruitiness and sweetness. And of course, as I mentioned before, the acidity of the wine balance everything perfectly now for me lime wedge or a lime wheel works amazing i think the zest is gonna be a little bit like a lost in the flavors however again it's your personal preference if you want to try with the zest let me know how you feel about it don't forget you can always leave a comment and please do me a favor share the video with friends Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you like. Just share with other people, let them know about Just Shake or Steer. Invite them to the family. Let them know what kind of a wonderful cocktails we're making here every week. And let's make the community even bigger. For now, check the links in the description with the merch and the Patreon page. And I'll see you next week with another video. But until then, stay safe. And as always, I love you and I leave you. Bye-bye.